Okay, let's just warm up a little bit and then we're going to continue with uh, our um, open hand, open hand approach. Okay, so right side forward. Let's just warm up a little bit about uh, punching and kicking. Okay, so the first one it will be uh, a punch with the front hand, punch, kick with the front foot. Okay, two. Okay, and one, two, three. Four and retreat. One, two, three, four, and walk back. Same as well. One, two, three, four, and retreat. One, two, three. Four. Great. Next, next one. We're going to work on the rear hand. Rear hand. Front foot. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. And retreat. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, so you notice dart, darting requires you to step twice. One, two, three, two, same way. And you notice every time you use a foot, there's a hand accompanying that foot. Okay. The only time you're not is when, uh, when there's a gap. For example, I'm using one, two, three. Okay, there's a gap, right? So one. Two, actually it's three. One, two, and three, because my rear foot needs to get set. That's when there's a gap, okay? So to experience the gap, you actually do it. Then you, then you know there's a gap, okay? Then you figure out the to fill it. So whether you go one, two, or one, two, there's actually three, okay? One, two, three, right? Rather than one, two. Okay, so by doing that, I, I hope you guys are counting like the rhythm. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. If I'm using my front foot, my rear foot needs to back me up. Okay? If I don't move here, I can do this. If I'm moving, one, two, three. Just like one, two, three, okay? So keep that in mind, okay? So the next one I want to do is front hand, rear foot. One, good, two, three, four, and retreat. One, it's very obvious when you go back, right? Yeah. Two, one, two, three, three, four, good. Uh, walk towards the other. Yeah, that way you're, you're, you're it's recorded. Okay, very good. All right, uh, we did both sides already, right? No, no, let's do the right side. Good. Dave, <clears throat> if you like, you know how you go back and punch, you go for a punch, right? Mm -hmm. You can do the same thing mm -hmm. as sure. you pop. Okay. And that's how you know they do this. Okay, that's the Superman punch. Everybody use it. Okay. It's very intimidating because you have this big creature, you know, <laughs> swooping down on you. It's very scary if you go like this. Okay. But big action, yeah. Yeah, but it's great, yeah. Even movies are showing this now because it's very dramatic. Okay. Yeah. Now look at look at what we what we're doing here. First you jump up and you come down. Is it efficient? Not efficient, okay? So you go like this, you're going up. When you're up in the air, you're very vulnerable. Because you have no ground to let, you can't move. You're committed to that path, mm -hmm. right? But most people got kind of scared because this big guy weighing 250 pounds are coming down on me, yeah, right? Shot, you got lands, shot, ooh, so, it. right, it is the shock and awe um, uh, effect, okay? <clears throat> but if we're always standing with um, the uh, rear, uh, rear leg, uh, supporting body, body weight, 
this is very efficient. He comes down, you just you just kick him. Yeah. Right? And then the head's no place to go. Yeah. That's right. That's okay. <laughs> so psychology of fighting. Once you understand the principles behind things, then you can deal with better. Alright? Okay. So same thing. I'm gonna one, two, okay? One. Uh -huh. Two. Three. Four. Reserve. Three. One. Two. Three. Four. Very good. And up. Right, very good. Okay, next one. We're going to um, strike with the front hand and then front hand, rear hand to fill that gap. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? So double punching and after kick. One, two, three, four. And retreat. One, two, three, four, and pop. Very good. And same drill. One. Front leg. Front leg. Front two. Leg. Front leg. Three. Four. And retreat. One. Two, three, four. Very good. Ha. See if you can punch in the air. How again? How again? There you go. Okay. So you know, people are, are showing all different kinds of quote unquote techniques, but why should you understand the concept? Nothing is like, oh, how does he do that? You know exactly the, the, the concept behind it. Or why is it so, why is he, why is he doing it? Like, is it so good or develop so much power? No, he's just trying to just totally distract me from the 90% of something going on and this 10% coming through right here. You know? Right, it's just, just a strategy, you know, to right. you know, to, to make you think about it. It's nice to know that behind the scenes. Right, so you know, oh, that's basically, it's just a hop. There's a hop to do this one. You can hop this way, right? Either you repeat like this, or you can switch. Yeah. Okay. So in this case, he's he's doing a air walk in the air. Right. Same thing. He's throwing a knee through this, right? Okay. Well, if you can do that, then it's the same thing as throwing a kick, right? So once you understand that, you understand how how to do a kick, right. then you know how to do the, do the knee. Okay. All right. Same thing. Well, Think he's doing this. That's all he's doing. Alright? <laughs> or, or just help out like this. That's all. Oh, you know, but it's very time consuming you go up and down. Okay, so we're left side forward. So next one will be right hand coming. Front hand, rear hand, kick with the rear foot. One. Alright. Feel the pull from the rear hand. Two. Four. Good. And three. One. Two. Three. Four. Switch. Same thing. One. Two. Three. Four. And three. One. Two. Three. Four. Good. Very good. Good. All right. We're going to short break. We're long up already. So we'll move on. I did a tournament fight. Did? Five years ago. Uh -huh. um, yeah. And I fought, he was, I guess he did kickboxing. Um, 
type tournaments. Uh -huh. But this was point karate stuff. Right. And but he, he was doing this, trying to time me, was, was the reason. But I, I caught him. Just like you said, he, he tried to, uh, to come in with something, and he was completely exposed. And groin kicks were legal, but in, I guess in kickboxing they're not. So he didn't even bother wearing a cup. Uh, oh, so oh, oh, oh. I, I flipped him good, you know. Oh, oh. And two, three minutes, he's walking around. Ah, ah. But the flags win. I scored the point. Right. But the main guy, he didn't count the point. After the two, three minutes, he just said, okay, go fight. And it was even two to two, and he won the next point. So I, I lost out. I had to move on. You be wearing a cap, guy. <laughs> but he was just trying to get me to talk. I caught myself starting to move with him. Yeah. And I go, oh, no, don't do that. I knew <laughs> enough, you know. Yeah. yeah. But they try to get you to, on their timing, and then they set you yeah, up. Exactly. Yeah, when you're, oh, now they, uh -huh. yeah. And you can strike them there in the air, too. Yeah. You can time it so when he's going up. Yeah, it works so against him. He, he's suspended <laughs> but for that purpose. We were taught, and, and I think we were practicing even at that tournament, more just defense. Just wait for yeah. the opening to come to you. Counter. So, yeah, counter. Yeah. So we had a great distance between us that, that you know, somebody had a bridge either. Right, right. So I knew I wasn't going to bridge it, so I had to wait. And, and that's what happened. He finally tried to come across, yeah. and I did this little flip kick yeah. to the side. That's uh, awesome. Uh, I still have a video. I haven't watched it for for 20 years. All right. Yeah. Next show and next finite. <laughs> right. Okay. So we're going to uh, continue with our uh, four, uh, defense and offense drill. Uh, we're putting together. I think the last time we left off, just doing one at a time. I think we're about, well, we touched on a little bit of you know, combinations, but we're speaking to all five. So it's the same concept from poxa to a high poxa, right? Okay, so from here, same thing, with poxa, right? That's us. Because you're in the front, time to go back, right? And because we want to uh, uh, adhere to that yin yang concept. If you're on the same level, the body likes it when you show one palm down, one palm up. Yes, you can do both palms up, it's fine, but the body has a trouble. It doesn't have that dynamic going, okay? But if you do this, you palm up, palm down, okay? From here, the natural uh, choice is a uh, folk style strike, okay? Folk style strike. And the, the tansa now is not going out anymore, it's going back. So it has that chipping to it, which is the source. Right. So in the sword form, you don't see them do tons of that. Yeah, because when you do this way, see the blade is facing the yeah. You always want the blade facing your opponent. And so this I'm, I'm doing now. Notice I'm not doing mm -hmm. but more like this. Yes. That's what this is. Okay, see the blade is facing. Yes. Rather than this way. See that blade is facing this way now. So, backward, uh, which is very, this is, is, is done all the time, you know, in other martial arts. Make sure every effort pays dividends, not just for one purpose, but it, it paves the way for the next movement and the next movement. So, so when you do this, you're thinking this at all as well. You're not just thinking defense, right? So when you do this, that's the next logical bend straight, bend straight. That's all there is. When your arms arms are straight, it's very hard to use power. We can do. We can still do it this way. Are the joints, right? Most people tend to not think about, they're not taught to think in terms of joints. So they need the hand to be away uh, from the target. 
farther away, the more uh, power you, uh, they get. And we don't need them. But still, you know, if you, your, your hand can be on the chest, you still, you still produce a lot of power. That's the key. Okay? So think about that, okay? So it's not a like a brush towards your to defend, but rather a it's like a chip. Like a chip. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. So we're we're um left what we're doing training sets, okay? We'll get to that later. Okay, so from now, for now you want to do this way. Good? Okay? Let's repeat. Okay? One, two, three, four. Okay, and then would you use your hand? One, two, okay? Rear hand defend, hands up. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is different from the sword, which is creating the gene. Right. This, this is the wrist, the wrist. This is. We're, we're, we're doing pure empty hand. Okay, because now you, your, your sword is. This is your sword, so you think you can? Yeah. To hear it becomes a sword. Okay. Yeah, it's, and I can feel the, the pivot, the, the power source is more from the elbow. Your elbow becomes wrist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can feel that yeah. now that I've gotten started to get used to this. Right. It's like, oh, well, I have a long lever now. It's like, yes. Yeah. Short, fast. This is right. Cool. Um, you can still make it happen, you know, when you, when you actually get there, you add that gene from here, right? Like, just prior. And then come back here, and then just before you go, you can tilt a little bit, you know, yeah. to give you that more power, extra boost. Mm -hmm. So remember, you carry your swords with you. Not physical swords, but your arms, your legs, mm -hmm. okay, swords. <clears throat> okay, the thing about cutting. Um, <clears throat> The length of the sword that's, that's why. Okay. Most butterfly knife, the original but this is the modified version of the um, butterfly knife. Butterfly knives are longer. Mm -hmm. uh, this is only 11, 11 inches. Butterfly knives can be as long as 16, 18 inches. Okay, so it's not easy to see it. Okay. Oh, right. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How is it? Good? Mm -hmm. No, um, do you want to take some of the beach balls? Go. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We were saying, oh, we should have the beach balls. <laughs> oh, we should, we should give them to the, to the kids. Yeah. yeah. They, they like them. <laughs> they, they like them? Oh, All right. All right. Well, you can sit them out here. Okay. Or sit them out. Yeah, I can yeah. out in the back. Okay, good. Okay. Hey, that was really bad. Yeah. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> so, you got some good pictures. They're good. Okay, so think about from here on down, here's the sword. Okay. Uh, because the, the length of the swords are different from uh, original butterfly knives, their um, movements are different. Okay. Um, it would be my opinion. Most people still use the Yun Chang swords the way the traditional butter butterfly knives are used. Big, uh, big, big, yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright. So, uh, so still left hand forward. We're going to go. We're using the front hand to strike the rear to defend. One, two, three, four. Good. Right now, we're going to switch back and forth. Okay, front hand first. One, two, three, back, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay, we're move on to the next one, which is uh, the pop up. We're going to take, pick it up from the front hand defense. Okay, and then. We're going to go into a concept structure. Okay? So you set up for it. Set up. Right there. Okay? If you can fight standing up, you can fight 
flying them. And that's what I'm talking about. That is, you know, when there's a lid on you, you collapse, you take away the lid, so it collapses on you. Okay, so, <coughs> so it's, it's a good idea to learn an exercise and try to take it apart. Okay, so, and, uh, and that, I find that to be a problem with a lot of people because they tend to learn that exercise as a technique. It's a drill. Drills are basically based on more the based on of you know in, in automobile industry they talk about chassis, right? And that's that's the basically the skeleton of the, of the of the car. So two cars may look drastically different in appearance, but they have the same chassis, <laughs> right? Oh yeah, that that really that you know that mini van is it, it, on the uh, truck chassis. It's a truck, <laughs> okay? Yeah. So you see, the same chassis allows you to build different things. Yeah. It's not your so face sure. right? It's you know when you taught us that concept, like I'll just you know I'll have like 15, 20 minutes on the dummy, I'll get my own stuff. Okay, I'll just pick one one small part and then it's like okay this hand's offensive this hand's defensive but what other defensive thing can i do and then just start going around exactly and exactly absolutely mixing yeah. it up it's amazing that's that's when you make discoveries you know it's about discoveries uh, not about collecting techniques which is amazing once you once you are given given the concept and you're able to you know for example you know boxers will will slap the incoming hand before striking. So basically, so he's doing two beat fighting. One beat for defense, one another beat for offense. Okay? What about do one beat? Oh, two hands together. Luckily for us, the arms have the legs to support. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. So you know, since where the body is capable of doing that, why don't we take advantage of it? Yeah. Right. So so from here. See how, if you take it apart, take this motor apart, give them here, one, two, okay? One, two. Now you do one, one, two, one, two. Oh, the other hand, oh, right here, one, two, one, two. So basically, the switching concept is at work here. Your arms are constantly switching. Switching in the context of movements, switching in the context of concept. Okay. Yeah. Defense, offense, defense, offense. And you're switching between the, the arms. When you switch between the arms, that's switching in the movements. Right? When you go from the offense to defense, you're switching in constant. Yes. Very powerful, right? Yeah. But once you once you do that, say, okay, what if I transfer the same hand movements into swords? Okay? So you have pops out. You have pond cells, so it looks like this in the sword form. Right? Right? See? Go back. Back. And this. Right? <laughs> if you go back and forth again, that's why they do this. <laughs> okay? To emphasize the concept. Like the, go back and forth, back and forth. With pond the, with the front hand, pond cells. Pond cells is, is, no, it's different. It's that or this one. Right? Yes. It's this one. Rather than backwards. Uh -huh. So from here, it goes like this. Slap down. Uh -huh. Slap down. Yeah. Again, it's not commonly seen like this. Yeah. You know, they tend to go. See, some of the pox, too, I think I've seen where they, they exaggerate. They go way. So it's like. Yeah, well, they exaggerate. Yeah. The, arm. But you, the pox should not influ influence your. <laughs> you yeah. keep the movements of the other arm. So from here, you want to go here. Like this. This go down It's all from the wrist. Okay. A lot of people disagree with me, yeah, but that's okay. Uh, every form needs to focus on something. Okay? So to me, the, the sword, double sword form uh, focus on the wrist. Knives are short, needs to be fast. Mm -hmm. Very fast. That's why they, it's, it's a climbing uh, motion. Every time you see, uh, they demonstrate long pole, 
uh, the AP long pole against the double knives. The first thing you see is the guy will jab and he'll quickly climb. The guy will climb mm -hmm. up. Uh -huh. so the first thing he attack is the hand and then the neck or the body. Because he wants to do the song the guy first. Uh -huh. And see, we go slide, see that? So you go one, two, you, you control the pole and you slide up to cut the hand. And next is the neck. Okay? Yeah. So so once you understand, oh it's so so um, um, obvious. Okay? Alright, so we'll give you back to the left side forward. Alright? So we're gonna go one, two, and come back, okay? One, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, and switch to the other side. Okay, same thing. One, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two. Good. Switch to the left side. Very good. Alright. Next one, we're just going to add on. The next one, of course, Han Sao, Hai Pak Sao, and then Lan Sao. Okay. Lan Sao, the closest is a back, back fist. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Do that fist. Okay. So, in, in, in this case, you can back hand. Alright. So, we're just add. At the third one, okay? So one, two, and three. How many times have we done that? <laughs> right? Right? So that's the beauty. You know, once the foundation is built, you see, oh, we've done this before. You just organize it and turn it into a drill. Okay? So I'll repeat the left side, okay? One, two, three. Two, two. Three, and back. Three, two, three, four, two, three. Let's see some more. Five, two, three. Good. And right side. One, two, three. Good. Nice side forward. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Four. Two, three, four, five, two, three. Very good. So that one is this, right? Okay. And each drill, not each drill, each combination, if you will, can have numerous follow-ups. Okay. So the lines out eventually. Okay. One, two, okay. See, right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Four. <laughs> okay? Sure. So this is what, what I met earlier last week. Do you return from the top or from yeah. the bottom? Right? Yeah. So if you go one, two, three, oh I can go like this. Mm -hmm. This implies what? A uh, line style strike. Or fox yeah. out. Line style is one fox out. Okay. Yeah. So Where in the other open or the other fist from Lanza or we go into uh -huh. another back fist or open hand with the sword, you might as well go under right. to make because, a strike yeah, for the sword, right? Yes, yeah, for the sword. Either open hand or close fist. Um, what would, is there a, is there an over for the sword? Like if you were to go over to under what? Right. Yes. Of course. Yeah. It's because we we, we, we believe in the, uh, the validity of the yin and yang. Mm -hmm. If you can go under, you can go over. Yeah. Yeah. You say, okay, what about you? Let's do it. Do it. Open hands, okay? One, two, three, oh, four. Right? One, two, three. Okay? This one normally is this way, right? Right. Four. Yes, and for the and for the sword, you can use well, that that for that. Yeah, the sword would be one, two, three, 
return it. See that? I'm coming back and do it again. Now this is reestablish. This will be reestablished. I'm not coming back. I, I'm taking off. I throw the punch and miss it with the elbow. Yeah. Right, for example, I throw a hook and the guy ducks. Well, as he rises up, elbows Exactly. If I step, step, step in, well, I'm close to the end on the elbow. Right? And when he ducks, the elbow and then fist. He was constantly thinking about Yeah. Yeah. Continuous motion. Yeah. Continuous motion. Pick up where you left off and joint by joint. Mm -hmm. When you exhaust one joint, go to the next one. Mm -hmm. when, when one joint is, is being controlled, go to the next one. Yeah. Okay? So you can always do that. Uh, so, you know, the elbow strike becomes such a technique that they don't, um, they don't understand. If I'm going, for example, so, so the guy is on the ground, I'm straddling him, right? I'm doing this, right? Boom! Right? This is what you see. One, two, three. But you don't see this. One, two. But that's a whip. That's a whip. One whip. One whip. Same thing. You go down, you come up. Right? Down. Boom, grab, down, up, or just down, down, run down. Just a big group, you know, this way, and this way, the third floor. Okay, very good. Okay, so we're the left, left side again. Or at least. Okay. Neutral, neutral, right. So did we do the right side? We were going to work on it. Okay, we're going to do the right side. Same thing, okay? So, Tansa. Okay, Hypoxa. Lansa. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three. That's, awesome, That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. That puts wrinkles on your brain. <laughs> uh, you know, um, I, my teacher or somebody. Did. If you don't make, if you don't make mistakes, how can you grow? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay. So again, you, you can return two ways, right? Right side. Okay. One, two, three. You can return. Mm -hmm. Or one, two, three. Return. Go this way. Yep. Okay. You should learn this. You, you can return back over the top of your back end, back this. Yeah. Underneath is a fox out stress. Fox up. Fox up from the side. Fox up from the front. Okay. Fox up can be um, uh, like a wing tip or like this. Mm -hmm. The difference, what determines fox out is the elbow position. Right. Correct. Exactly. Fox out elbow is down. Fox out elbow is up. Or side to the side. Yeah. Fox out is up. can also be that this one. So this is fox out. This is also, see? Elbow yes. doesn't change much. See? Yeah. So in um, in one of the um, uh, styles, they, they do this. They, they will open open the um, the form this way. Two, four, three, four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. wrong. That's the beauty of looking at how people are stuck. Yeah. Say, hey, I never thought about it. That's the beauty of of being open minded to yeah. be a sponge. Because mm -hmm. once you arm your arm with the Wing Chun glasses, you're able to see, ah, forget that. Well, this is interesting. Hmm, what's the principle behind that? What's the concept behind that? You, you, you immediately know the scar, the scar. Good stuff, let me see what he's doing. <laughs> right? So when you see all the, oh, the guy's using his, wow. Or he, he just leans it on like this. Okay? <laughs> Again, if you don't talk about joints, you say, oh, if I hold, hold the sword, this becomes my elbow. If I'm not holding a sword, this my elbow is my elbow. No, this becomes the wrist. The wrist. Okay, wrist, the wrist. With or without. Yeah. With is this, without is this. Okay. I got that today. Yeah, so yeah, see that's yeah. the uh, same thing as this. Right? See how you flip your wrist or you 
Yeah. It's so strange. I mean, I've been doing it this whole time, but it really was noticeable today. It's just like, what? Because you would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everything's. Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, Relevant. Yeah. Once you have something to, to, to go by, you, see, you can see a difference now. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just a blur. Yeah, it's like you should think how many more things are there. So, in, uh, in honor of the double swords, when you come back, you're going to come back under. Okay? Let's okay. do a few more times on the uh, left side. Okay? Right side. Right. One, two, three. And I return. Two, two. Three, return. Three, two, three, return. Four, two, three, return. Very good. All right. I'm going to add on to the next one. After the line stop is Gansa. Gansa. Um, very interesting. Um, so, some people call this um, Gan Jiang Sa. Gan Jiang Sa. Gan Sa like this way. Yeah, okay. This way, some people call it the Quan Sa. Quan Sa is the end of climbing. Yeah. Because you see, these are like tree branches that are intertwined. You know, that's one concept. Another concept, they use the Quan Sa differently. But it's all kinds of different kinds. Is it related to the same quan as quan yin? Uh, uh, no. This quan means to tie up. Uh, okay. Yeah. So a lot of, in Chinese characters, you find a lot of characters are pronounced the same way. They're written differently. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, if you see the character or the context uh -huh. of, of dialogue, yeah. conversation, you know, is he referring to quan, quan yin or, or to tie up? <laughs> the guan is to to look. Uh, okay. To look. Guan. <clears throat> guan yin is a person who can see sound. Okay. Yin means sound. Huh? Okay. She's a yeah. mystical figure. Yeah. Yeah. God is a mercy. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing I need to get. It's a statue of guan yin somewhere. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. So back to the left side. So next one, let's figure out. Okay. So you start with Han Sao, Hai Pak Sao, and then Lan Sao. Okay. So. One more. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So Feels yeah. natural. Right. Don't so from down. Lan Sao, from Lan Sao, oh, from Lan Sao, you can go. This one, this one, this one, this one, right? Or you can go into uh, from the right side, left side, one, two, three, okay, and then go like this. Four, you feel it? Okay. But let's stick to, again, every single weapon can be replaced by any kind of weapons. That's all. Okay. Okay. So this is the left side first. Okay. So one. Time stop two. High pop for three. Line stop four. Okay. See, this is the two. Your typical yang yin. Palm facing up, palm facing down. Yeah. Okay. And this movement, actually, this posture, you see a lot in the so called internal style. Bakwa. Mm. You know, <laughs> they have one low, one high. You know, mm. yeah. and especially when they when they they're splitting field. Yes, exactly. In fact, that's one of these. This is one of the movements in the Tai Chi Chuan, which is called the white horse part name. <laughs> we had an animal technique called party name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so exactly what it was. Yeah. Tai Chi is a big part of what we do. Yeah, because you know, like I said, all all martial arts are based on human movements. Right. Yeah. So you have these movements. Um, 
In fact, in some form, some, some of the uh, forms that I saw, they even do that in the source. Mm -hmm. This is not. Right. right. Okay. It makes sense because in the beginning you have it going in, and now you have going out. Right. Uh, sure. Like this. Yeah. You know? Okay. All right. So left side, left hand forward. Okay. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and back. Three, two, three, four, and back. Four, two, three, four. Okay, right side four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three. Four, three, a uh, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. Okay. So that's only using these joints. Okay, the upper body. Now you can start using throw the hip into it. You have more of that whipping action. You throw the hip because the more joints, the more joints you use, the more powerful your 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 strength, strength on. Okay. So we can, without moving, shifting back. Okay. When you when you use the the, the uh, uh, turn, that's even more powerful because not only you you are using the arm, but also the entire body is being thrown into it. Okay. So it's a little slower. It is not slow because more joints are being used. But if you just think about boom, that's, that's the end of the fight. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. right? Yeah. You go boom, there. Yeah. You gotta remember, if you do this, he's gonna go back. Right? Mm -hmm. Boom. You gotta go forward. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna miss him. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, um, before we do that, let's just work on the whipping action coming from your hips. Okay? So you basically do this. Your hips are doing horizontal rotation. The beauty is, one hip goes forward, keeps you out of reach. From here, okay, if I turn the hip, I add a couple inches, right? Plus the whipping uh, energy coming from your hip, okay? Let's wait until we finish the whole thing before we do that, okay? I'm just saying, eventually we can start you can start doing stuff like this, okay? Rather than just using, okay? At least you have that more whipping. Because the hip is into it, okay? And it's very interesting because that's the first thing I, I learned when I was doing praying mantis. Hmm. <laughs> they want you to do this. This is a drill. See, every martial art has its own unique way of preparing the body. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we used to do, like this. I don't know how easy it is. Now your arm needs to be very relaxed. Yeah. So when you do this, but because you have to, the arms are not moving. The arms are not uh, dry, uh, moving your hips. The hips are driving the arm. Right. So you have no choice. But eventually you learn to do <laughs> this power. <laughs> right? Very fast, very, very powerful. You know, when you close it, it breaks. Like that, because of hip. Okay. And then you have the the the, the chen tai chi. Same thing. You have that that shaking. We're gonna move like this. Mm -hmm. They call it pounding the water. You know that you grind right. stuff. You know the herbs like that. That's what it, the movement looks like. See the the vibration? Yeah. That's interesting. Only Wu Tai Chi is very ferocious. They come back. Yeah, they're not for healing or help. Well, it does have healing, but it's very, very, it's about fighting. Whereas Yang, long form, short form, it's about, you know, healing, you know, meditation, emotion. But Wu style is all about fighting, all business. Yeah. From the way, yeah, the very low stance is what, not high. Okay. 
almost like a split yeah. down. You know. Well, it's definitely a science to it because the vibration absorbs a lot of shock energy. So almost in doing it, almost feels like the like the hand is pulling the arm, where like in a tonsa, it's it's coming from the body anchored. So it could even be like the yin yang opposite. So it's like yeah. the, doing a tonsa with with that. Right. To, and, and, and you notice that exactly the, the reason why it's called whipping action because it is exactly like a whip. The whip is limp, mm -hmm. yet it breaks your skin when it, when it, when it lands. Because at the last moment, it stiffens up. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So it's that vib vibrating curve mm -hmm. and it just like the, like a domino, but in a very cohesive and continuous way. That's exactly what it is. It's go from the bottom and then boom, at the end, you stiffen up. You don't stiffen up until you, your, your arms are completely extended. Okay. All right, so let's go to the next next one. So the next one is the last one. Here's the fuk sao, mm -hmm. right? So let's go from the left side, okay? Han sao, hai pak sao, lan sao, gan sao, and then fuk sao. You can do it long or short. Long is this action. Short is this action. Okay. So right now, let's focus on the uh, uh, the long. Short is this. Just this. That's it. That's it. That's short. Short. Wrist. 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 Everybody, mm -hmm. right, just long. Okay, everybody does it wrong. Nothing wrong with that. Right. Just, but you have a weapon, so think about what what part of the arm is showing you using. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. I'm not an expert <laughs> on anything. I'm just saying that we're going to focus on this quick action. Okay. All right, so when you finished um, here, okay, you simply turn, right? See? And go into this, which is in the form, is the jump sound forward, rather than sideways. Mm -hmm. Linear. You could do it sideways. Yeah. Straight is one way. Sideways. Okay. So let's go through this. Okay. So pan sound, hai pak sound, lan sound. Dan sao. Okay, last one. Fuk sao. Fuk sao. This will make a lot of sense as you start turning. See? From, from, uh, up here. See? See? You start turning. That's a lot of power. Okay. Okay, alright, so let's, without a turn, okay? Han sao, hai pak sao, lan sao, gan sao, and then fuk sao. One, two, three, four, five, and come back. Two, two, three, four, five, three, Two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five, one more, five, two, three, four, five, and right hand forward. One, two, three, four, five. Right hand forward. Two, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five. Last one. Five, two, three. 
four, five. Very good. Big break. That's fun. Yeah. yeah. It's just so amazing that, hey, when I do it, close this. It feels different when I do it to hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, like I said, there's no new material. It's just basically rehashing. Rehashing, that's all. That's the intelligence of all this, of this art. Instead of constantly learning new stuff, you're finding new ways to do the same things. Yeah, that's basically it. So again, the depth rather than the width of your knowledge. Yeah, with um, what you showed us the other day too, I was seeing how, you know, how the Tom Sao, mm -hmm. or Tom Sao Ron, uh -huh. back. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, if I did palm down, then I would palm up, and then one step down, uh -huh. and then palm. So that's basically so from a from a full step. Yeah. Okay. Okay? Palm okay. down? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I was trying to implement the, the jut in there. Okay. Yeah. Juts out is, is a describing the movement rather than a definition. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can do folks up right foot up feet yeah. without using the wrist. See? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, see that? Yes. Okay, wait. Rather than rather than this way, using this. Or yeah. So you can add that add that wrist action into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's sorry that you do working with right exactly yes yeah. and then you know say crossing mm -hmm. over or um remember you said yin yang yang yin yang 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 yin yeah <laughs> that's exact you you repeat or you switch you can you, you can do a switching concept but you use the same arm so you switch mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> switch repeat. That's right. Yeah, okay. Same yes. Same. You keep the same arm, but switching the concept. Mm -hmm. Right. There you go. And that's, that's probably all. All combination. Mm -hmm. and, right. Mm -hmm. Right. And then just as well. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We, do the other side, yeah. Or, uh, like this. Yes. That I gotta work on it. Yeah. It's like I lose, it feels like I lose power. Kind of. Well, because of the, it's in the form. It's yeah. In the first form. Yes. <laughs> okay? It's very interesting. It's like, oh, that looks so foreign. But as soon as I point it out, oh, <laughs> that's from the first form. Because you know why? You can I hold space or on your fingers. Yes. Yeah. That's all. Okay. In the form, you go from here to here. You think about upward, focus on your fingertips. Mm -hmm. But if you go back, focus here. Mm -hmm. Here, here, mm -hmm. and then here. Yeah, totally different. Yeah. Okay? And I think also within the confined space, it's a little. And that's the beauty. Yeah. Now you're forced to create energy, mm -hmm. develop energy. Within that tight space. Yeah, I know. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> so you, you really, even if even if you don't know anything, anything about grappling, you just strike from the front line there. Whenever you see a target, you strike. Yeah. No, wrong. That. Yeah. Before they can grab your limbs and do all kinds of uh, maneuvers on you, just strike. Yes. I trained the WT style Wing Chun. Uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and UFC was just starting to get real popular. Yeah. Kind of overwhelming schools, and, or right. not overwhelming, but influencing and being infiltrated, you know? Yeah. And so it was a big subject. And my instructor at the time, every, he would t challenge everybody, you know? And he'd say, Come on, dude, whatever you're going to do. And so somebody just, somebody just go, pa, 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 pa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's right. They're trying to grab him and do all this nice stuff, and he's just like, boom, 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 bo
when someone grabs you, I just hit him. Well, they would, yeah, then they're like, all right, so they try and grab his arms and back, back, back. It just, it didn't matter. He just, exactly. one arm, he's still fucked. Go to the next joint, like you said. Right. When you lost one joint, use the next one. When you yes. both use the next one. You know, <laughs> don't stop attacking. That's the aggressive mindset. If you get into his game, you start, okay, he's doing it tomorrow, I'm going to choke it. No, just, just hit him. That's when, when he would be the aggressor as the jujitsu guy. And, and he'd try to wrap you up, and you'd be trying to fight your way out of it. And he says, what are you doing? Just punch me. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, exactly. Yeah. So, so uh, simplicity, and I'm sure a lot of the jujitsu guys won't agree, but you are playing by the rule. We don't. We don't play by the rule. Okay? You don't learn how to punch and kick. You just learn how to grab and choke and, and, and do joint lock. You say, forget that. I'm just going to knock you out. You just go for your throat, go for your neck. Mm -hmm. In a minute, uh, you grab him, I'm just going to go for that. If you grab my legs, I'm going to put an elbow on and just between your spine. <laughs> you know, so that, that's just the aggressive mindset. I don't want to play your game, I'm going to lose. Because they spent years getting that mm -hmm. slippery and sticky, you know. That, that's what he was trying to teach us when he would grab us. Yeah. Don't play don't, this don't game. Don't lose the game, just drop. Yeah. First of all, you. In order for someone to topple you, to take you down, he needs to be lower than you are. Remember? Yeah. The same thing, right? We all done this when we're little. You know, <laughs> you have a friend here, I'm not going to do this, like this. Okay. Now he pushes you, yeah. but you yeah. fall. But if I'm here, you, you can't fall. <laughs> My center of gravity is too tall. But I'm here, easily topple. So that's why I say your movements are universal. We, we all do the same yeah. things. Once you understand that, to pick you up, he needs to go like this. You can't just go like that. Yes, you can, but it's very hard. Especially if you are like that. Yeah. Right? So you, you know, so you try to pick me up, right? Yeah. From, from here. <coughs> yeah. See, it's impossible. Yeah. That's why it's trying impossible. To, impossible. <laughs> trying to deal with a drunk is impossible. Yeah. Yeah. They're so yeah. you know, it takes then, if you carry his corpse, very easy. It's a stiff. Yeah. Okay? See, that's, that's the concept. Mm -hmm. Learn when to relax, learn when to step up. But if you're underneath me, if you get down and go up here, it's easier. Because I just slump over you. Right. If I'm, I'm a loser, I slump over you. But you're sitting there, that is lower, you can pick me out. Mm -hmm. You can never pick up a rock this way. You gotta go under, get your fingers underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So it's the same concept. It's all about the movement. Okay, we're going to next one. Uh, we did both sides of the way. Yeah. Okay, so let's add the turn, or we call it side to side pivot. Okay, we're going to pivot. Okay, not to be confused uh, with the, uh, the dynamic pivot, okay, which is from the fighting stance. This is from the training stance. Okay. All right, so from the left side, the one, two, Okay, three, four, five. And notice every strike gives you that added power and reach. Yeah. Notice that. <laughs> okay? So you can, most people don't fight this way. Most people, this is how fights start. Mm -hmm. Right? It just come in and you're here. All, right, all of a sudden you need to defend yourself. So training sense is also fighting sense from a very, very practical uh, point of view. That's how someone's arguing all of a sudden, he just comes back, he comes at you, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's good to know how to use the body to minimize the target and give you more power and reach. All right, let's do the right side. Well, okay, let's do the left side several times, okay? Two, five, nine. One, two, three, four, and five. Two, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five, one more, five, two, 
three, four, five. Feel that whip emanating from the hip. Right. Especially with the back fist. You can feel, feel that whip. Okay? Right side. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five. And two. Two, three, four, five, three, hands up. Two, hands up. Three, hands up. Four, hands up. Five, foot up. Very good. Interestingly enough, I don't see other people do this. No, not a single video that I've been researching has I, have I come across this drill. Yeah, I don't think I have. Yeah, that's amazing. The full corner is, is mentioned many times because Bruce Lee talked about this in his Dao Chi Kung Do. Full corner. Except he, he used a different one. Rather than here, it's here. The same. Yeah. The same. The same. Okay, now it gets interesting. Just when you get used to it, I'm going to go side to side. <laughs> so left side and the right side. You just take it, take it slow, okay? Alright. Left side forward. One, two, three, whip, four, whip, five, cut. Okay, now the striking has space in the front. Alright, so I want to do the right side. One, Two, three, four, five. Everybody wants to <laughs> Okay, left side. One, two, three, four, five. Very good, right side. One, two, feel the hip, hip, action. Three, Four, five. Stay from here. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So hard. Okay. So when you have to understand, you start to see. Okay. See the, the. Uh, uh huh. Okay. It's beautiful. It's a, such a cohesive and intelligent, so organic, organic, organic art. And everything tells me, oh, you see a sword? Oh, you see a sword? Oh, you see an empty hand? Back and forth. Yeah. Very good. All right, I'm going to walk, okay? <laughs> Back and forth. Start with the left side forward, and then we're. Whichever hand you use to strike, space in the front. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's a cut. Yeah. All right. Let's reset. Reset. Yes. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. And this hand, when you strike, you don't want it straight. Because if you do it too hard, you can break your arm. Mm -hmm. So you want that like a rattan, you know, that uh, flexible feel to it, rather than, you want to go like that, rather than, look, stop. You want to go, yeah, like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you, you know, we'll hyper extend this now. All right, let's go back to the left side again. Very good. I'm sure I can see. One, two, three. Feel the hip. Four, five. Just like an uppercut, it's never this way. <laughs> you don't see them do this. Okay. Very compact. And right side forward. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Left side. 
One, two, three, four, five. So you feel your 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 lines up, your guns up, right? It gets me there, but I always have a little more hip to give, you know. At the end, I realize, eh, a little more. Yeah. A little bit We're all the same journey. Okay, let's try again. Slow it down a little bit and breathe. Throw the hips in. One. Yeah. Two. Three. See, it's too centered. It's not. I don't yeah. Know. You're almost side body. Almost side. Almost side body. Not yeah. complex. Right. But almost. Huh? Four. Five. And right side. That felt good. Right? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. Left side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Right side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Excellent. Left side. Okay, so now without uh, turning, without pivoting, you're going to use a hip. Okay? So, see, our bodies are capable of doing this without moving our, without having to move our um, uh, feet. Okay? So feel the power comes from this. So one of the, way, one of the ways to <coughs> really um, get fluency on your hips is basically like this. It's like this. Okay? You're rotating. You see that horizontal circle. You see that the arrow is pointing this way, pointing this way, right? There's two ways to, to think about. You can think about the outgoing hip being pulled, or you can think about your uh, backwards going hip being pulled. <laughs> Either way, it's okay. So uh, I I suggest you think about being pulled, the outgoing hip being pulled. Okay, so just relax the hand like this but without shifting the weight from one leg to the other. The bitch is rota rotating this like this, okay? Okay, so let's go hip, left hip first, okay? One, two, three, four. Without compromising your, your, uh, your feet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Notice your arms want to go. They're organic. So all you have to do is to let it go, right? From here, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the hips are driving the punches now. Yeah. But because the hips are driving the punch, the hands, your, your body won't be pulling forward. Because yeah. if you think about your hand, your hand is going to pull the body. Yeah. But if it's been driven out, like a gun, which the the, arm, uh, the hands, the fists are projectile, be pushed out. Yes. So it doesn't take the gun like this. The gun is projecting. That's why it's called projectile. Right? Being projected out. 